Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? This is Toby with O-Line Security, and we're back with another Cert Master Lab for Security Plus 701. Here we're going to be setting up a system to monitor events. This is super, super, super crucial when it comes to security. Monitoring your events, a centralized server to monitor events. In most use cases, you're gonna have, well, let me redraw that. In most use cases, you're gonna have a centralized server, right? We'll call this the centralized server right here, where all of your events are being forwarded to, right? The centralized server is collecting all of your events. Events from your firewall, your router, your switches, your, your, your workstations, your DNS server. All of your events should be forwarded to one location. In this lab, we're gonna try to mimic something like that. We're gonna set up a centralized server where we're gonna collect some events and then we're gonna forward events over to it, right? In, in, in many use cases, you'll have a SIM tool to do this, right? But in today's lab, we're gonna do this using Windows, right? We can send up our Windows server to be a centralized logging server. All right, so let's get into it. If you've been liking these videos, y'all, please don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. This is the community to come and learn the fundamentals. All right, let's get in it, y'all. So first things first, we're going to go into DC10. All right, DC10 is going to be our centralized logging server. We are going to set this up to collect logs from another server so we can analyze those logs from this one server. All right, we're going to open up PowerShell. I'm going to right click this and open up Windows PowerShell Admin. All I did was right click that start button, this start button down here and I'm going to right click and open it up as admin. All right, we're gonna run some PowerShell scripts, All right? This one right here is going to enable WinRM, right? WinRM listener. This is gonna allow this server, right? This server that we're on right now, we're gonna enable Win, the WinRM listener, which is gonna open up a listener here for other devices such as MS10 to forward logs over to, right? We need to open up a listener in order to do this. All right, cool. Don't forget to hit enter on the last command, GPU update force. Okay, you can go ahead and score that after this GPU update force is done. Let's give it a second. All right, sweet. Next thing, we're gonna run this command, right? This command is gonna give us a prompt. We're gonna say yes or no, we wanna say yes. All right, cool. Now that is done. Let's go ahead and mark our progress. Now our DC 10 server is able to collect events. This is our collector now, right? DC 10 is able to collect events. Now what we're going to do is go over to MS 10 and configure MS 10 to send events. All right, let's do it. We're going to switch over to MS 10. We're going to Login is Jamie, you know the username, you know the password. Remember you all, if this is moving along too fast for you, slow the video down. You can do that, just change the speed of the video. We wanna make these videos not super long, right? We don't want them to be an hour long or 40 minutes long. We're trying to make these all within 30 minutes if we can. All right, we still wanna be as detailed as possible though. All right, so we're logged in, same thing here. We're going to, did I skip something? No, I didn't. Well, it wants us to restart already. We didn't do anything. Okay, we're on MS10, restart MS10. Well, I'm not gonna restart it. We're not gonna restart it, we're not gonna restart it. We're gonna start from 14. We're gonna open up PowerShell. I'm gonna hit this start button and type PowerShell. I'm gonna right click PowerShell and run this as administrator. All right, we're gonna run these PowerShell commands right here. One at a time. The first one, hit enter. The second one, we're gonna hit enter. All right, all we're doing is enabling remote event logging. All right, we're enabling this so we're able to forward logs to our collector. Don't forget, here is MS10. We want MS10 to be able to forward logs to our collector, which is DC10. All right, so we've enabled that just now. All right, that's the first part. Go ahead and score, get your points. Next command. WinRM quick config. Run that. You can see that it has already been set up. Cool. We're good to go. Next, we're going to go into the computer management. 
application so right click on your start button open up computer management all right where are we gonna go now local users and groups let's go ahead and expand this and from here we're gonna go to groups we can go ahead and double click on groups and groups we're looking for this guy event log readers event log readers just double click that and we're gonna add right we're gonna add an object we want to add DC 10 we want DC 10 to be able to read our events so let's go ahead and add we're gonna go to objects because right now you only see user service accounts or groups we need to add the object of a computer so enable computers as an object type remember objects these are things connected to your network they're on your network you have users on your network groups on your network computers on your network service accounts on your network so let's go ahead and enable that now we're going to type DC 10 as an object name don't forget to select check names now DC 10 is an object under this event log readers right DC 10 can now read our event logs on MS 10 all right select OK sweet all right now let me make sure we didn't skip anything oh we did that all right sweet did this did this we got dc10 okay all right now they want us to restart ms10 they want us to restart ms10 and go over back to dc10 all right so that's what we're going to do we got that's configured i'm going to minimize that minimize that we are going to go ahead and restart this guy. So I'm going to hit this power button, go to power, reset, reboot machine. Yes. While that is happening, we're going to go back over to DC 10. We're back over here at DC 10. All right, sweet. Now we have to tell DC 10 to start collecting those logs. We're going to tell DC 10 to start collecting those logs. So let's go ahead and open up event viewer. Right, we should be familiar with this event viewer application by now. This is what Windows uses to collect and store events. So once we have event viewer opened up, what we're gonna do, you see the subscriptions tab. Let's click on subscriptions. And we're gonna right click subscriptions and select create subscription. We're gonna create a new subscription so that DC 10 can start pulling logs. It has to subscribe to MS 10 first. All right, so let's go ahead and create that subscription. The name is right here, log from MS10. All right, make sure that forwarded events is selected. Um, we're gonna select computers. Right over here, we're gonna go to select computers and make sure that we're gonna add a computer, add a domain computer, which is gonna be MS10. That is the server we want to collect from. Don't forget to select check names. Hit okay. We're gonna hit okay again. All right, now, Wait, let me go back. We have to test this first, All right? Let's test this, make sure it's working. The connectivity is working. That means DC 10 can reach out to MS 10. Perfect, that's what we want. All right, select okay. Now we're gonna select events, right? We wanna select the events that we want to pull. So come over here and select events. Anytime we wanna switch to 24 hours and we want to collect all of the events from MS 10, all of it. All right, and we want to do it by Windows logs, all right? We want all of the Windows logs, the application security, setup, system, and forwarded logs. We want to collect these events from MS10. We are setting up our collector. Here is MS10 over here, MS10. We have DC10 over here. We are setting up a collector from DC10. We're saying, hey, give me your logs, MS10. These are the type of logs we want. And we want all of the severity levels. It doesn't matter if it's informational. It doesn't matter if it's a warning. We want all of it. All right, now we're going to leave the rest alone. We're going to select OK. And we are going to select OK again. Now, if we go, we, we see this over here. This is good. This is working. This is active. We can just right click this to make sure it's active. Go to runtime status. And it is showing it as active. We're good. All right, let's close this. Now let's go take a look at those logs. We're on MS10 right now. Remember, we are collecting logs 
from we're on DC 10 right now. I'm sorry. We're on DC 10 right now. That's this system right here. We just told DC 10 to collect logs from MS 10. So we should see those logs inside of event viewer. Let's go take a look to see if that's true. If we open up windows logs and we go to forward events, we should see all of the logs coming from MS 10. Now these are being forwarded over to us from MS 10. This is MS 10 right here. We are DC 10. We are. This is the centralized server that's collecting all the logs. We are collecting events from MS 10 and we can see them here. How do we know this is coming from MS 10? Look at the computer name. The computer name is coming from MS 10, right? If you go through them, you can see all the computer names are MS 10. These logs are coming from that system you have successfully set up a centralized logging server. If there were other servers on this domain, which there are, you could send those events over to DC10, our centralized logging server. Good job, y'all. All right. That is it for here. Let's go ahead and go to our questions. Let's do it. What types of centralized login management are available on Windows? We have source computer initiated. We initiated that from MS10 and we have collector initiated. We initiated that from DC10, the collector. Where in the event viewer can you view events from a remote system? Forwarded events, just like we are looking at it over here. On an event pool from the remote system, what was listed as the computer value? ms10.ad.structurereality.com. What systems can be configured as, co as a collecting system through the Windows Event Viewer subscription mechanism? Any domain member, any device that's connected to your network, your domain, network domain, domain network. The ability to use centralized login in Windows is enabled and configured by default. This is false, right? This is false. It is not enabled by default. You saw that we had to enable that with a few PowerShell scripts to turn it on on DC10 and to enable it on MS10. And that is it. That is it. This is a very crucial skill, just like the other labs are, are, are crucial skills. Understanding this concept, understanding what we did, we set up a centralized logging server to collect logs from another remote system. That is very crucial. Government agencies, even outside of government agencies, they have regulations where they do have to collect logs. They have to collect certain type of logs. They have to monitor those logs, not just for cybersecurity tax, but just for health purposes, making sure that those systems are running, they're on and they're functioning. If you've been enjoying these series as much as I have, please don't forget to smash that like button, y'all. Smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you leave a comment, let us know how we're doing. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. This is the place to learn. All right, y'all, let's go get it. Let's go be great. See you in the next video. Peace.